Okay, I'm still getting used to filming in this space, trying to find the right camera settings. I think I really just need more lighting, but hopefully you don't mind. I think you can still see me. So we're gonna dive right into this. We have a little informal unboxing, something I was expecting, of course, as you can see, coming from my friends at Max Aroma. Uh, they do typically send me at least one fragrance every month. Obviously in exchange, I direct you guys towards them, but I don't think you really need me to do that. If you've shopped with Max Roma or if you've heard about them, I think their service, their selection, it all speaks for itself. If you don't know what Max Roma is, they are a phenomenal place to get a large variety of niche and designer fragrances at typically discounted prices. And they're one of many sites, but they are one of the more trusted ones, again, they have a great selection, very, very vast and deep, and they're always adding to it. So you'll probably find something that you're looking for or something that interests you. And today we have two fragrances. I'm gonna open these up, give them some sprays. I think I know what they both are. I've smelled one of them, if I'm right, about what they are, and the other one is brand new. It's like literally a brand new release, so let's dive right into it. So I'll do some B-roll so you can see these up close. They're both tester bottles. So nothing super fancy to see in terms of presentation. Maybe this one has, yeah, this is the real deal here. So one of these I'm actually more excited about than the other, uh, mainly because I know more about one of them than the other. So we're gonna start with the one I'm least excited about, but I'm still really happy to have it. This is the brand new fragrance in this fancy plastic bubble wrap bag. This is coming from BDK. This is their newest release, a flanker. I'm not sure how many flankers they've done. You know what? This is not what they said they were gonna send me. They told me they were gonna send me Gris Charnel, the extract de Parfum, the newest version. This is the Eau de Parfum. So we're just gonna make do with this. I haven't smelled this either. So maybe it's for a reason that they made this mistake. I should get to know the original before I smell the flanker. We're gonna give this a spray. I don't know anything about this scent. I do know that it is one of the more hyped fragrances from the house. A lot of people talk about it and recommend it. So let's see what it's all about here. We're gonna put it on the hand. We're gonna bypass any paper. Hmm, this is nice. I'm definitely getting something resembling iris. Kind of powdery, sweet, creamy but not overly floral, more like an orris feel. Kind of has that starchy rootiness to it. That's almost reminiscent of carrots, if you know what I'm talking about, but it does not smell like you rubbed carrots all over yourself. It's very elegant, it's soft, it's round, it's smooth. I see the color white when I smell it, but it's not like whipped cream. There's a, just a smoothness to it. So we're gonna look up what is in this fragrance, Gris Charnel. Let me know if you've tried this down below. I think, again, a lot of people claim it as their favorite. Okay, so top is cardamom. I actually am getting cardamom. It does have a freshness to it that is spicy. Uh, apparently there's some fig, a little bit. I do get a little bit of this like kind of tropical fruitiness, similar to something like Fico di Amalfi, but the fig is way toned down in here. And we have black tea. Also as a top note, Middle is iris and vetiver, what they call bourbon vetiver. So I think this is gonna get pretty woody. Base is sandalwood, which I'm already getting, and tonka bean, which I'm already getting. There's a smooth creaminess here that's a little sweet. Overall, beautiful scent. Actually, really, really nice. I find this a little bit more interesting than some of the others. Um, I have Tabac Rose, which might still be my favorite. Beautiful fragrance, very, very potent as well. I also have Rouge Smoking which is honestly okay. A lot of people love that one. That one's just okay to me. It doesn't have a lot of presence. I actually struggle to smell it, but I think I might just need to spend more time with it. Maybe it'll click one day. But Gris Charnel, this is really nice. This might be second of what I've smelled so far. This is really beautiful, great quality, beautiful blend, and a little different. Doesn't it really remind me of any other iris fragrances I've smelled. It's nice. Okay, that's Gris Charnel. And the fragrance I am actually most excited about is a fragrance that I actually reviewed probably five years ago on this channel. I did a dedicated review in my car of a decant of this fragrance from Zerzhov. This is Renaissance. In typical Zerzhov fashion, it comes in packaging that is much bigger than what you need. Storing this 
is going to be a pain, but this is what we got. But it is beautiful nonetheless. Uh, this comes from their 1861 collection, which I think is kind of a celebratory collection in terms of the country of Italy. And uh, this is one of three in the collection, the other ones being uh, Zephyro and Naxos, I believe. I haven't smelled Zephyro, I have smelled Naxos. Honestly, I don't love it, but it's been a few years, so I need to revisit it. So inside of this colorful box, we're gonna get the leather cough fret, which is beautiful. In typical Zerzhov fashion, this is gorgeous. Again, more than you need, but beautiful nonetheless. Opens up, and the fragrance lays in here. And this is gorgeous. This is a full 100 milliliter bottle. This is a big boy. They've actually changed the uh, presentation since I reviewed this fragrance years ago. It used to be in these kind of squatty, more almost square looking bottles, but that were still really beautiful. I haven't decided if I like this more, but I do really like this. So we're gonna give this a little spray. So far, what I've smelled from Zerzhov, this is my favorite. I have two others. I have Alexandria 2, which is nice. I also have Udin, which is also nice. I think Udin is my favorite of those two, but let's see if Renaissance is gonna keep the throne as my favorite. Yeah, just like I remember, super bright, citrusy, mouthwatering, juicy. Uh, you get a collection of citruses, maybe mandarin orange and lemon and bergamot. There's a sweetness to it, but there's a tartness to it. It's juicy. It's also quite green, almost minty. I think there's a lot of mint in here as well. Honestly, it reminds me a little bit of the way that Sprite or Sierra Mist tastes. That might sound really strange and not all that appealing, but it's really nice. It's very refreshing. You do get a lemon lime feel, but overall very minty, bright citruses, something that's gonna just be very effervescent in the heat. It's just gonna emanate. It's going to come to life and blossom. So let's take a look at what is in Renaissance. So in the top we have lemon, we have tangerine. Okay, so I was getting kind of an orange, a sweet orange vibe, bergamot and pettigrain. Definitely making it a little bit more green. We have mint and lily of the valley and rose in the heart. And the base of Renaissance is really special because it's more than just minty bright citruses. You do have kind of a warm woody depth in here. There's musk, there's amber, there's cedar wood and patchouli. So it has some legs, it dries a little bit warmer and sweeter and it gives it a nice little duality on the skin. Supreme quality here and also very good performance for a fresh fragrance from my memory. So we'll see how this does. This is beautiful stuff. It has more depth than your average like citrus aromatic scent, which I prefer. I want to have it evolve on the skin. I want to have it interests me throughout the day, even if it is a just a fresh fragrance. Gris Charnel is still really beautiful. The sandalwood is coming out a little bit more, giving it a slightly dustier woody quality, but it's still very smooth, borderline creamy, not quite as powdery as before. Beautiful fragrance. This is really nice. I'm loving the vibe of Gris Charnel, really loving this. Okay, so overall, I'm happy with both of these fragrances, really happy with these. So if you want to get some of the best deals online in terms of getting these fragrances, check out Max Aroma. They also do allow you to get decants, I believe. For most of their fragrances, you can get maybe an eight milliliter lipstick atomizer and see how you feel with it. Live for, for a bit. If you love it, you can upgrade to the full bottle, of course. So I'm gonna have Max Roma link down in the description. But as I said, let me know if you've tried either of these. How do you feel about Renaissance? How do you feel about Gris Charnel? And I might have to revisit Max Roma and talk about getting the X straight as they had told me they would send me. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Peace, I'll see you in the next one.